What is up guys, Doc Redstone here today with a uh, cool video tutorial for you guys. This is a door, and uh, that's not the tutorial. The part of the tutorial I think is pretty cool is that this door um, only, detect, oops, uh, only opens when it detects uh, redstone. And that's the part that I thought was pretty cool. Um, so as you can see, I place redstone, and nothing happens, but as soon as I break it, you can see the door opens which is pretty cool. Um, then I can come back in here, you know, jack my TNT, hide it or whatever. Obviously it's primarily for a server. Um, and then I can just leave. However, if I want to go ahead and reclose the doors, I uh, have to walk back in here and uh, pick this up. And uh, then I can come back in here and obviously the door is closed. So you can just press this button and I get out. So basically right here is the guts on how the thing works. Um, here we have a dispenser full of lapis and below we have a torch powering it. So this dispenser is already powered. Um, dispensers do a weird thing where they can actually trigger or determine um, whether there's been a redstone update around them. And so it works with dispensers, redstone, and redstone torches I believe. Uh, it also works with pressure plates. Um, so, basically, these orange blocks is where if you place redstone, it will shoot a block, and if you break redstone, it also shoots a block. And it does that there, there, and there. Um, obviously, it does it down here too, um, but that makes a bit more sense because it's directly connected to the torches at these spots. Um, these red blocks right here, um, as you can see, I'll place some redstone and nothing happens. However, when I break the redstone, it goes ahead and shoots. And it does that for all of these spaces. So only at the, these red spaces is when it breaks, it will shoot. Um, and this also works, I believe, with repeaters. Yep, except repeaters on these red blocks will actually shoot whether you place them and not when you break them. So, as you can see, place one, it shoots. Break one, doesn't shoot. So that's how that works. Um, this is the mechanism right here that basically controls the whole thing. Um, and you can have outputs um, next to the pressure plate right here and here. And uh, put some torches there so you can see. Um, so basically, um, we're going to go ahead and replace a block here. And we can have a fake pseudo wall um, whatnot. But if I go ahead and place this redstone, nothing happens. But as soon as I break it, it shoots. Um, this piston will retract, so you can actually get down in here and get that block. Um, as you can see, the torches turn off because of the output. Um, so get down in here, and it'll close. So basically, the reason that this piston has to push this block in front of this dispenser is because, let's see, I'm just break that. If that piston wasn't there, there's actually a chance that this will not hit that pressure plate and it'll just go wherever. Um, and we want to make sure that every time um, it will hit the pressure plate. So there's a weird behavior, uh, I use this in my potion room, that if you place a block in front of a dispenser, it will go into the block and go straight down. Um, so we'll stand right here. As you can see, it goes straight down. Um, then this just inverts this torch, causing it to pull back, and I can get down there, get it, step off and uh, then it will push back and be ready for the next time. So the only downfall, or downfall with this design is, um, you know, just like the door over there, if I place this, do that. Um, obviously, if I go in, pretend, you know, do whatever and come out, if I do not get that, that door will be open for five minutes. Um, I guess that could be a bonus. You could have it as a time door. Um, just in case, you know, you go in there and you go AFK or whatever. But it does um, stay open for five minutes until that item disappears. So, unfortunately, that's a downfall with it as well. So, anyway, guys, um, that's that. This has been Doc Redstone. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I am almost at a thousand. Two more, guys. So, be my last two subscribers, and I'll give you a shout-out. Anyway, guys, thanks. Peace out.